What is going on everybody? Welcome to your 55th Objective-C tutorial. Awesome. And in this tutorial we're going to be talking about mutable strings in comparison to what we created before and that was immutable strings. So what is mutable string? It's pretty much a string that you can mutate or change. Now in the last couple of tutorials we made strings that were basically just static and you know we could do some things to them like count how long they were, we could make copies of it, uh, we can make a copy of it and uppercase it but we could never change the string itself like adding stuff to the middle of it. However in this tutorial we're going to be able to make strings that we can mutate pretty cool eh? so let's go ahead and uh... you know get typing some code so let's go ahead and make a regular string nsh string and i'm just gonna name this like dog because let me think of a cool dog saying uh... Y you can type anything in and you don't have to follow me Be like hot dog hot fog hot dog i thought you said pumpkin See these are the crazy things that pop in my head when I don't prepare for tutorials so now after uh, we create just a regular string let's go ahead and create a blank mutable string and in order to create a mutable string it's different class it's ns mutable string and I'm gonna name this so you guys can easily tell I'm gonna name it mute but you can name it anything you want so the most simple thing and probably what you commonly want to do is you want to be able to create a mutable string from a non-mutable string so in order to do this go ahead and take your mute and set it equal to and we're going to call a method ns mutable string oh it already knew and remember string with string means replace this string with what string and all you do is pass it in dog and in essence what it does is say alright I want to create a mutable string from the string dog and I want to store that string in mute so now it doesn't change dog at all but what it does is now mute is the same string as dog but mute is mutable pretty cool huh so now that we have a mutable string let's just go ahead and print out ns log at and let's just go ahead and you know we don't have to type a sing not to at and mute now this is going to look the exact same as a regular string hot dog I thought you said pumpkin the only difference between mutable strings and immutable strings or unmutable I think it's immutable is that hold on got an itch in my eye oh see I only have itches when I am doing tutorials or playing Guitar Hero I don't know why but as soon as I'm not allowed to itch that's when I start itching so anyways uh, what was I saying? Uh, probably nothing too important a mutable string looks the same as an immutable string but you can change a mutable string so don't believe me you say alright let's go ahead and do it right now see another common thing that you're going to want to do is since we can mutate this let's go ahead and insert some characters in it so we need a method let's go ahead and call mute since that's our mutable string and the method to insert characters is insert string and as your parameter what you need to do is first type what you want to insert what string or what text and let's put like let's put like sauce so it'll be like hot dog sauce instead of just hot dog and as your second parameter at index I mean you need to tell it what you want to insert sauce and you need to tell it where you want it to go and we say at index 6 and that should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so that should be right if I counted it correctly copy and paste that so build and run and check this out our original string hot dog I thought you said pumpkin our new mutated string hot dog insert sauce be like hot dog sauce I thought you said pumpkin what a great story we have going on so far so you know definitely doesn't make sense at all but the point is our program runs and we learn about insert strings pretty cool so another cool thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna add a string just right to the end of your 
string, I guess. Add a new string to it. So instead of just counting out the indexes, there's a separate function that you can just add stuff right on the end, and that's append string. And whatever you type in here is just going to pop at the end. So what can you say after? I thought you said pumpkin. Just be like, my bad. And let's just go ahead and print this baby out again. So the cool thing about this method is you don't have to count all of your characters and pick what one is the end. You can just append it and it automatically pop it on the end. So it'll be like, hot dog sauce, I thought you said pumpkin. My bad. And this runs onto the other line. But you know, no big deal. Still cool, still cool. So what can we do now? Oh, the last thing I want to teach you guys is how to delete a range of characters. Now you know that each of these characters is numbered 0 to, you know, whatever, probably like 30 or whatever in this case. And you know what a range is from last time, like, like say this is 10 to 20. So the range of this would be 10 to 20. Make it a substring. So in order to delete a range of characters, here's what you need to do. Call the method on the sh string, okay, it's the mutatable string. Once I get the typed, mute delete characters and range. Look at that, I already typed it for us. So ns make range. And now what you need to pass it for our argument is, of course, the range and the coordinates, which is first, what character are you starting it in? Hold on a second. So that must be like 12 or something. And let's say we're going to delete 20. So this pretty much means, all right, what character do you want to start at the 12th character? And how many characters after that do you want to delete? 20. So in essence, this is from the 12th to the 32nd character we're deleting. So now after your list, let's just go ahead and print this baby out copy and print oops I accidentally hit enter embarrassing and so what did we delete so the string before it was hot dog sauce I thought you said pumpkin my bad and hot dog sauce pumpkin my bad so evidently we deleted this right here so our coordinates 12 evidently this was 12 right here and 20 characters after that expanded all the way to I thought you said so our new was hot dog sauce pumpkin you know I could have had something cool that it made sense either way even if he deleted it but you know I don't got time for that I got stuff to do so I got tutorials to teach you know what I mean so anyways that is pretty much the basics of a mutatable not mutatable mutable string and there are a couple other really common stuff that I'm going to be teaching in the next tutorial. It's very essential that you, very essential that you watch. So, uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. All of the source code is going to be in the link below if you want it. So, uh, yeah, uh, thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.